Back up. Back up. What am I doing with this hellhound? Yeah, exactly. How do I get past the... This thing is really bothering me. That kill... I already got all this stuff. Can I use it? I was supposed to use it and not open it? See, what? <coughs> really? I saw that thing was something. I tried to open it. It's like, nope. Then I used it. It's like, sure. Come on, man. What is it that I just got? Water? The sign of the cross. Okay, so holy water. I will use it on the, the Hellhound, because the Hellhound is from Hell, so... Alright. Is this gonna work? Yes! Booyah! I'll take this horn. Nice. That's annoying, though. I could have gotten that thing a long time ago. Whoa! Hello, Blue Dragon. A wyvern. This beast is a distant cousin of a dragon, but smaller and fiercer. Other heavy talisman is made of gold and is extremely sharp. Now I think I remember this. I think it's something about the star. I use the star for this. Flash of light as you launch it. Yes. Got it. The talisman. Got the staff and the horn and the talisman. Okay. That worked out. Ugh, god damn it, dude. What? Long neck, no hands. It's a broom. I already answered this question. Why are you here with it? <laughs> Look, it's a broom. Yes, I know I may pass. Don't ever bother me again. Okay, now... Can I use this... The rope spell doesn't work, that doesn't work. Light spell doesn't work, that doesn't work. I don't know what to do. This is a werewolf, in case anyone doesn't remember. So I don't know what to do with this, like... I do not know what to do with this one. <laughs> oh, man. Let me use, can I try the sling? Okay, I gotta use the stone on the sling. I feel like it's not gonna be the, the sling, because 
I already used it to take down the Cyclops. Sling. Arrow? What? Why would I pl- Okay. Well, she's pissed now. I didn't know it was a silver arrow. So there's that. The typical dead werewolf. Some sort of spike made of precious metals. Alright. The blade is in hand. Alrighty. What's up, Sphinx? Hopefully I never have to come this way again. Alright, um... Oh, whoops. <laughs> Running low on torches also. Uh... No, I already did that. I, I, yeah, I mean, like, I, if I had a bow, it would have made more sense. If, truthfully, I should have looked at it. This one, I don't understand. Why doesn't it say Silver Arrow? If it said Silver Arrow, it would have been like Werewolf, but it just said Arrow. Alright, let me use the spell. Please tell us in the wrong hole. Oh no! So it tells me has to go in one of the holes. Alright. Alright, well, I'll save it before I do that. That may mean that I've only got one of them that I have to put it in, which would be nice. Speak. Illumina. Okay. Save. So it wasn't that one. How about... Nope. The sword one. Okay. My bad. Use. Talisman. The artifact known as the Bladed Sun is now secured and in place. Uh-oh. There's only one of them. Do I have another one of those? I got one of them. I don't think I have another talisman like that. I think I've only got the one. Um, I'm almost out of time. What's up, Frostbite? Welcome into the stream, man. Yeah, I haven't played this in a bunch of years, so I'm remembering a few things here and there, and then forgetting a lot of things as well. Let's see. Read my stuff. Uh, I actually gotta place it. Um. <laughs> oh, Bob. You're like, I got the C4. Never put it away.
Whoa. What did I just do? Oh, because the... Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 no. One of my scrolls talks about this. It was one of the first ones. Scroll... One. Five to find three or one. One gives access the bladed sun. That's the one I put in already. The silver orb to banish below. The staff of ages to vanquish the foe. Joining two, the golden blade. Joining two. just do um right, wait a minute wait a minute okay where are we where are we where are we where are we uh scroll one scroll one show me scroll a one three or one all right I did that silver orb in the staff of ages the orb in the staff of ages with the blade Orb and the staff. So, orb and the staff. Staff becomes a living entity. Got it, because I got the staff and then the horn. Yes, alright. Oh, this could be it, guys. The cavern that you have entered is by far the largest your eyes have ever gazed upon. Oh! Hi. From the depths raises the most powerful creature that has ever existed. The behemoth! Your stomach knots up as you stare at this new horror. The beast is indeed incredible. You wonder for a moment how you could defeat such a, a creature as this. I know how because I have the Staff of Ages! You pray as you raise the Staff of Ages as the power of the prophets claimed. Leroy! The Staff pulsates with power. A beam of light explo exploses! Exploses from it, striking the behemoth! Zap! Ah! Oh, that's right, he took the warlock! What's up? Yeah! The creature screams in agony, thrashing back and forth in great pain. In his rage, he grabs the warlock lord and descends into the depths forever. You can hear the warlock lord's screams fade into silence. Suddenly, it is very quiet. A beautiful light seems to fill the cavern. The morning sun, you say to yourself. It is over. Although exhausted, you lean on the Staff of Ages and begin your long journey home. Word of your heroic quest has already reached the farthest parts of the land. You are triumphantly greeted as you enter the gates of the royal city of Stormhaven. <sighs> Moments later, you are ushered into the royal palace where you are greeted by the king. I know what thou hast done, brave one. The world would be dark forever without thee. You are bestowed a kingdom to rule at the king's fair daughter's hand. As you leave the throne room, you know that although this quest is over, others await. After all, the bards will need new legends to sing of and new tales to tell. The first story's end. Time, 124.14. Woo! Yeah! That was perfect! Behemoth, I choose you! Dude, how sweet was that? That was nice. Perfect could not have gone better. Finished just in time. Because I have got to get myself going. That was awesome. So I did it, guys. I can actually put Shadowgate on my defeated list on stream. This was perfect. I could not have actually timed that any better. Because now i got to get start getting ready to uh, head up. So Shadowgate is always sweet. I love Shadowgate. Yeah, Shadowgate was a great game. But I hadn't played it in like 20 years. So... There were a couple things. The the thing about the stone and the floor that I had to use instead of open, I was like, what? But uh, but that was interesting. Um, so, yeah, that was cool, though. That was cool. I was really glad I was able to do that. I hope you guys enjoyed that, too. It's a little bit different than my usual fare, although I do play some retro stuff. A couple of announcements before I uh, raise up on out of here. Um, just uh, thank you, Puff. A um, couple of reminders, just some things before I head out. Um, first of all, I am on my way up to Canada. I'm going to be up there this weekend for a conference, a convention. So if you guys are anywhere near uh, Markham, Ontario, uh, I'm going to be at Ad Astra tomorrow and Sunday. So please stop on by and say hi. I would love to see
see any or all of you there. Um, and uh, let's see. So there's that. Also, one week from today, um, from Thursday, sorry, from yesterday, one week from yesterday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time during my usual Thursday night stream, I'm going to have these people, Hairbrain Schemes, there we go. Mitch Gittleman, who is um, the uh, the studio manager um, and the co-founder of Hairbrain Schemes. Uh, he, Jordan Weissman, who is the creator of Shadowrun and also the CEO of um, Hairbrain Schemes. And I believe his name is McCann, Dan McCann, I want to say, um, who was the project lead on Shadowrun Dragonfall. Um, some combination of those guys are going to be on my stream. It could be three of them. It could be one, two. Some combination of those guys are going to be on my stream. Um, and uh, and talking about answering questions from you guys, talking about the process. So I want to talk this up. Um, definitely spread the word this weekend if you're on other channels. I mean, don't, don't be annoying about it, please. But if someone asks you about like, hey, anyone heard what's going on with Arv's channel or whatever, please make sure that you mention that because um, I definitely want a good audience audience for them. We did once before that with John Helfers and some of the people who worked on the writing and anthology. Now we're going to get some of the project leads on Shadowrun uh, and on Shadowrun Dragonfall. So they're going to be showing up on Thursday. So Wednesday night's going to be my Wednesday during the day, sorry, is my normal cast. I will be doing more um, Shadowrun Dragonfall. I'm going to make sure not to finish it though. And then I will um, finish it if need be on Thursday with those guys. And then Friday during my regular cast, if I haven't already finished it, I will finish it and then we'll move on to uh, the Island of the Lizard King. We're going to be doing a fighting fantasy game book um, so I do those as like little palette cleansers if you've never done that before check out some of my highlights on the channel and you can check out what they're like um, and uh, they're a lot of fun I think you'll you'll enjoy them if you haven't seen them before and then after that we're moving on to Might and Magic Legacy um, courtesy of Giltonum who's nice enough to give that to me so we're going to move on to Might and Magic Legacy um, after that and we will uh, that'll be the next game that we're playing through so that is what we are looking at um, but uh, yeah that's that's the key um, be loud and obnoxious about this. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Frost, no, no. <laughs> Don't be loud and obnoxious. <laughs> Great. They're like, Arv said to just tell everyone about it. Yeah, no, please don't do that. Um, but this is a lot of fun, guys. I really had a good time. Um, and it was uh, it was a pleasure. So, um, And I think there is no better way to celebrate this um, than to uh, do a little quick giveaway um, for you folks. So let me uh, do a quick giveaway here. Um, hold on a second. Oh, cool. All right. Uh, let me see what we're going to give away today, guys. Um, I feel like in an independent spirit because I was kind of playing. I mean, it wasn't an indie game, but felt sort of like that. So I am going to give away a choice of one of three games. Um, if you win the giveaway, you are going to have a choice of, number one, the Realms of Arcania Trilogy Classic Bundle. That's an RPG. Uh, number two, the Dark Eye Chains of Satanoff, which I've heard good things about. I think it's like some cross between an RPG and an adventure game, if I'm not mistaken. So there's that as well. And then the third one is going to be Time Gentleman, Please, and Been There, Done That, which is a bunch of like point and click adventure games. So uh, again, you've got Realms of Arcania Trilogy, you've got the Dark Eye Chains of Satanoff, and you've got Time Gentleman, Please, and Been There, Dan That Special Edition Double Pack. You can win one of those three. Um, so let's see whether or not we've got uh, whether the wonderful lawkeeper has gotten his bot uh, in order whoops how about I actually put in the right command uh, let's see yes it works okay There we go. Okay, do that again, 1298. Everyone type that word. If you're interested in winning, please type in that word. Yeah, 1298. You got to type that again, man. You jumped the gun a bit. There you go. There's the man. Cool. All right. So yeah, if you guys are interested, please type in that word Shadowgate. Please type that in if you were interested in winning one of the three that the gentleman just listed. Realms of Arcania Trilogy, Dark Eye Chains of... Uh, now I don't remember. I just saw what you said and I was like, what? Chains of Satinov. Uh, S-A-T-I-N-A-V. Chains of Satinov. So the Dark Eye Chains of Satinov. And uh, time, gentlemen, please bend there, Dan, that, that, uh, that, that one as well. So, 
Sure, Pav, you know what? Um, yeah, after we're go, we'll head over to your stream then, sure. Because normally I would raid, but this is a day cast. We don't have a ton of people this time around because it's a day cast and I'm streaming at sort of a strange time. Um, normally I'd be streaming later and all that stuff. So, um, so that's fine. Yeah, we can do that. So we've only got three people. No one else wants any? There you go. Oh, you own them? <laughs> hey, what's up, Glog? Yeah, I'm I'm taking off, man, because I'm uh, I got a pack and I got to head uh, I got to head up to Canada, to the wilds of Canada. So. Yeah. Strange times. Oh, sorry, Glog. Why are you angry, man? Why are you upset? You want to see if Lawkeeper Bot wins it? <laughs> Oh man. Okay. So last call, folks. Last call. Then I got to get myself. Uh, I got to get myself ready, and uh, start getting heading out. No, it doesn't work. So your bot can't win one. That would be pretty disturbing. Oh man. Oh cool, cool man. So you saw the end of my little Shadowgate uh, fun cast. It was good times. Alrighty. I think actually, gentlemen may have given me. I want to say, gentlemen, you may have been the one who gave me time, gentlemen, please. I, I want to say that you gave me that double pack. I don't remember, but I want to say you... I, I thought you gave me one of these indie games that I'm giving away right now. I don't know if that's true, but I thought so. So. I tried to do that art, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, anyone else? Last call. Oh, One Way Heroics. Okay, that's right, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Which I think I already gave away, actually. I'm pretty sure... No, I still have One Way Heroics to give away. Okay. Okay, and... Gray! Congratulations, Gray! What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be, Gray? What would you like? Congratulations to Gray Dibbick. Awesome. If you guys don't know, Gray Dibbick is uh, also an actor. Um, does voiceover stuff and regular acting, so you should follow him on Twitter. He's the Twitter guy. <laughs> yeah, I think... Let me actually see. I'm pretty sure it is, but let me double check. Adventure Game of the Year. Story-Driven Experience. It looks like it is an RPG, like an it looks like an adventure RPG, um, adventure point and click indie. So it's probably more adventure than it is RPG, is what it looks like to me. I'm just double checking right now. Yeah, it looks like it's more point and click, adventure type stuff. Why was twelve ninety eight? Yeah, I've heard some good things about the Dark Eye, but I haven't seen it, so. <laughs> okay. Hey, what's up, Zephyros? I'm going to uh, Toronto, man. I actually mark them um, outside of Toronto. And I'm leaving here, in fact, in about 45 minutes. So as soon as we're done with this, I got I to gotta rise up on out. 
<laughs> oh, jeez, 1298. <laughs> so what do you think, Gray? What's it going to be, man? I got to get I got to get heading out here, so what what's it going to be? And Pav, why don't you uh while we're waiting for him to do that, Pav, why don't you go uh start your stream up so I can send people your way, okay? West Coast is where it's at. Your uh, Love Shack is over. Love Shack 64, who's one of my regulars, is over in the West Coast of uh, Canada also. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, man. I like Toronto, though. I've been there before. Go for the dark eye. Cool. What's up, Pippo? Toronto. All right. Let me uh, give me a second here. I know I have gray in here. Let's see. Dark eye. The dark eye. Dark eye. Chains of satin off. There we go. Send a gift. Send a gift directly through Steve. Who am I sending it to? Why, Gray Dibbick. Next. Congratulations. Enjoy. And Arf. Huzzah! It's on its way to you, man. It's on its way, Gray. And uh, yeah, congratulations and uh, thanks to those who gave that to me and made that possible. All right, folks, that's it for me. Um, I'm going to say uh, goodbye. i got to get heading out to uh, Canada here. Just a quick uh, thank you and goodbye. Not my usual long-term thing because I really got to get out of here. But thanks to gentlemen for the moderation. I appreciate it, you guys. Thanks to Lawkeeper. You guys held down the fort, um, even if a uh, gentleman was waving around his mod powers. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and thanks, of course, to Lawkeeper Bot for being a bot. I appreciate that. Thanks to 1298, as always. Thanks uh, to Benny Hill 007. Good to see you again, man. Good to see Divinorium. Thanks for stopping by, man. Frostbite, I hope you liked um, what you saw. I think you're already following me, but if you're not, then um, I hope you will follow and uh, you liked what you saw and heard. Always a pleasure to have get that memo in here. Good to see you, man. Welcome. Good to see Glog78, as always. Glog is an awesome guy, so uh, make sure you follow Glog, too, because sometimes he streams some cool stuff as well. Um, always good. And the same thing for Memo, actually. Memo sometimes streams some cool stuff, too, so check them both out. Gray Dibbick, as I've I've already said follow him on twitter he's a good guy um and uh, congratulations man hope you enjoy the game hippo always a pleasure to have you in here man sir one of my regulars same with hyro and maru same with leshrak leshrak i hope you've been enjoying some of the day casts. you could catch more of it mull sorry you got in late but uh, good to see you man and i'll catch you soon always a pleasure to see nightwake who was here last night as well good to see you man good to see pav of course um pav go stream if you haven't already um because we need to do that okay you are i thought you were already following frost um but pav go uh definitely go start streaming right now so we can we can head over there um dugna good to see you dugna um thanks for stopping by again dude and of course zephyros um my pleasure uh to have you on as always um and we are going to be going to hold on one second here uh, there we go. We are going to be raiding, although actually he already knows we're going to be raiding, and he's in fact already got a list up saying welcome our raiders. So you guys know the drill. <laughs> he's already got me up on there. <laughs> there we go. So you're going to be doing that, and you're going to be going there to Pav. Let's go uh, check him out, and I'm going to head on out, rise up on out um, to the world of Canada. So I'll catch you guys um, in a couple of days. I'll be back here, and we'll be streaming again next Wednesday. Um, hopefully, you'll catch me around on some Twitch things when I can stop by. If you're in the Toronto area, definitely check that out. Don't forget to let people know about the Shadowrun Returns cast. Please don't be obnoxious about it, but um, definitely if people ask, let them know that that's going on uh, next Thursday, and make sure that you're there for yourselves, and I will catch you folks next time, Wednesday during the day. That's it for me. Be good while I'm gone, all right? Everyone be nice to each other. Love you all. You guys are the best, and I will catch you soon. Have a good one. Oh, Canada.